Hello, good people of YouTube. How is it going, guys? Brian Cusco here at Triple B. Today, our guest is Javier from JRG Reptiles. And he's got this banana line that he's been working with in ball pythons that seems to be getting more and more orange. The first time I met Javier was actually at the NARBC Pasadena show. I was doing a video about the coolest animal at the NARBC. And he was kind enough to allow me to change the price on one of his pastel ball pythons to some astronomical price. I don't know, it was like $95,000 just for a joke. And he was such a good sport about it. I was like, that's a good guy right there. I ran into him again. I was like, dude, we got to do an interview. So we did just that. I hope you guys enjoy it. You're watching Triple B TV. Having fun, right? It's all about having fun. Absolutely. It's all about having fun. And, uh, but I didn't get a chance. You know, I, we showed your your extremely expensive pastel, but we didn't really get to see, talk about like how how did you get into keeping? You know, I've had ball python since I was a little boy. My first one was caught right down the street over here in San Dimas. It's a little lake, and it's a king snake, a black and white king snake, was my first animal. And then you know, of course, you grow up, you get married, you raise your kids. After all that happens and you're sort of like, the kids are doing their own thing and next thing you know, it's like, man, I got a little bit of time on my hands. So I, I think I was watching a YouTube video and I was like checking out the ball pythons and I was like, wow, look at all these different morphs, you know? And that's what caught my eye. And then I started off with a simple normal. One led to two, led to three. And I got an addiction. Now I have over a hundred animals. That's a couple, that's a couple. I try to keep them to just the ball pythons because there's so many awesome reptiles out there. But you just, you know, it's too much. There's a lot. There's a lot. You could, if you get into doing too many of them, then it's, I mean, well, I, I am guilty of getting a little too crazy with the thing. But, Absolutely. Uh, I noticed that you have several different species. Several different species. I'm, I'm trying to control myself a little bit. Like, I, I, it's taking every ounce of my... Luckily, what I did last night at the auction is I, uh, I didn't... I, I donated, I, I bid on stuff so that I wouldn't have any money left to actually yeah. buy a snake. Yeah, <laughs> I bid on non-living non, non, non -living things at the auction so that I could leave here still broke, but, but no snake, because I... Oh, I hear you. Believe me, it's very hard not to get any other type of reptile, you know, because there's just so many awesome snakes. There are. Lizards, yeah. tortoises, and even a pixie frog is about that big. Uh, well, you got a snake here. Can we take a look at it? Absolutely. This is one of my whole bags from last year. And I'm just super proud of the animal. Um, this is the third generation that I've been breeding the banana ball pythons. And this particular morph is it's three simple genes. It's the banana, it's a banana and she cinnamon. cinnamon. Yep. Yeah. Super orange. Yeah. If you guys can see, we're going to do our best to capture this on camera and show you how crazy orange. This is like how, how bananas start out, I feel like. But yours is like getting more and more orange as goes. Well. Potentially, you were talking about uh, John's Jungle is where you got the, the father. Yep, my and first And he's man. got something he's calling a red banana. Yeah. And uh, so it'll be interesting to see what, what his red banana actually is, what he's what he thinks the genes are in that. And Absolutely. He's saying with every shed, this is getting more and more orange. Yes, I think it's because of the Enchi. Every shed, all the blushing is just turning orange, where before it wasn't like that when it was a hatchling. Pretty, it's a beautiful so, animal, man. That orange, because yeah. I feel like orange is like the the place where a lot of people are trying to get, because it's the one color that is tough to bring into snakes. When you're talking about doing morphs and you know trying to get the morphs and the colors that you're trying to work into these projects, orange is like kind of like the holy grail of colors. Absolutely, you know, to I get would in. agree. Yes. Oh, well, blue would be cool too. <laughs> <laughs> Every year they're coming out with new morphs that are just awesome. But this one for me. I would never get rid of this animal. I'm just gonna plug it into some orange dream combos and maybe some of the other combos that I'm thinking of that might work. I can dig it. Yeah. Something you wanna talk, is there, can we, can we tell people like how they can find you? And yeah, absolutely, it? yeah. Um, basically, I'm on uh, Facebook, I'm on Instagram, it's JRG Reptiles. I have an email, jrgreptiles at yahoo.com. Also, you could reach me at my cell phone. I can give you my number, 626-890-0445. If you have any questions or would like to purchase an animal, I have many available. 
Awesome, man. Well, I appreciate you, man. You're Thank good, you so much. You're a good dude. Yeah. You're a good dude. Appreciate it. Well, that was definitely one of the shorter interviews we've ever done, but there's going to be some really long ones, too, so we're kind of pacing ourselves, I think. It, Javier, thank you very much for coming on the show. All of his information is going to be down in the description below if you want to get a hold of him. And next week, we're going to be talking with Bob from Sandfire Dragon Ranch. That should be pretty good. We're winding down to the end of these Pomona interviews. We've got a couple more left, and then we're going to be popping into the Daytona NRBE interviews. Those are good, too. So, hey, until then, you've been watching Triple B TV. Y'all take care. But it was, it, it, it hurt. That's crazy. It hurt. The coolest animal that anybody are. Wait a minute, what was I thinking about? Like, that, that, that won't go in the interview. If you're like, um, I think it was, oh, it was that, and, and, and just the part that matters will be the part that gets in it. But you won't know that it's there because I cut between the different angles, so you right. don't know that it's being awesome. cut. Awesome, right, yeah, just yeah. like a movie. <laughs> right today. I like to think that I'm not high, that high tech, but maybe, maybe I am. Mm, yeah, I think you are. Javier from JRG Riptails. Because so these are like super wide angle, no? Um, these are these are fair, these ones are fairly tight. You can see this one's kind of tight on on me, like oh, okay, just, just okay. right there. Um, this one is this one's basically like like you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> We're yeah. making movies. <laughs> I'm not that high tech, man. I have one cut, and that's it. Daytona N A R B.